In today's presentation we are going to look at the seven quality management principles and how to apply it to the organization's processes. The seven quality management principles are a set of fundamental beliefs, norms, rules and values that are accepted as true and can be used as a foundation to guide an organization's performance improvement by analyzing and understanding the customer requirements, which will be included and measured in the organization's objectives by the leadership and communicated to engage all the people of the organization by providing the competent and capable resources needed. By applying the process approach, consistent and predictable results are achieved more effectively and efficiently when activities are understood and managed as interrelated processes that function as a coherent system. Decisions which are based on the analysis and evaluation of data and information will more likely produce desired results and improvements and also to encourage and recognize achievements by suppliers and partners. Principle number one, customer focus. The primary focus of quality is to meet customer requirements and the needs of other interested parties and strive to exceed customer expectations. Sustained success is achieved when an organization attracts and retains the confidence of customers and all relevant external or internal interested parties, example, legislators and employees that can influence the organization's success. It is very important to understand the customer needs and future requirements and how the needs and expectation of interested parties affect the organization's objectives. The organization must implement a system to deliver and support goods and services to meet customer needs and expectations. It is important to measure and monitor customer satisfaction and take appropriate actions, and also to determine the needs and expectations of interested parties that can affect customer satisfaction. The plan, do, check, act, is an effective model to systematically manage, control and continually improve all processes. Focusing and satisfying the customer needs have the following benefits. Increased business. Return customers. Enhanced reputation, customer satisfaction, and loyalty. Principle number two, leadership. Leaders at all levels establish unity of purpose and create conditions in which people are engaged in achieving the organization's quality objectives. Communicate the strategic direction and objectives throughout the organization. Encourage the organization commitment to quality. Leaders also create inspiring vision for the future and is personally actively doing and supporting the teams. The leaders also ensure, sustain shared values, fairness, and ethical model for behavior. Establish a culture of trust and integrity. Provide resources, training, and authority to act with accountability. And inspire and recognize employees' contribution. The following benefits will be evident in the organization due to good leadership. Increased effectiveness and efficiency. Improved communication. Improvement of the capability. Development of employees. And achieving the objectives. Principle number three. Engagement of people. The organization recognizes that competent Empowered and engaged people are essential to enhance its capability to create and deliver values. The management communicate customer requirements and company objectives throughout the organization to ensure the involvement of all employees and to promote collaboration. Facilitate open discussion and sharing knowledge and experience. Recognize and acknowledge people's contribution, learning and improvement and enable self-evaluation of performance against personal objective which will result in the following benefits. Achievement of objectives. Involvement of employees. Enhanced creativity. Enhanced employee satisfaction. And increased teamwork and collaboration. Principle number four. Process approach. 
The ISO 9001 employs the process approach, starting with identifying the customer requirements and incorporates the plan to check act. PDCA cycle, which enables an organization to plan its processes and their interactions. Understanding how results are produced by this interrelated system of processes enables an organization to optimize the system and its performance by identifying the risks and opportunities. Risk-based thinking enables an organization to determine the factors that could cause its processes and its quality management system to deviate from the planned results, to put in place preventive controls to minimize negative effects and to make maximum use of opportunities as they arise to ensure that the customer requirements will be achieved. The following benefits will be evident. Ability to focus on key processes. Systems to align processes. Optimized performance of resources. Reduced cross-functional barriers. And the consistency, effectiveness and efficiency. Principle number five, improvement. Successful organizations have an ongoing focus for improvement. They promote and establish improvement objectives at all levels of the organization. By systematically monitoring. Auditing and reviewing the completion and results of the processes. Recognize and acknowledge the improvement. The continuous improvement culture have the following benefits. Improved processes. Risk identification. Root cause elimination. Breakthrough management. And enhance innovation. Principle number six. Evidence-based decision-making. Decisions are based on analyses and evaluation of key data and information that affect the effectiveness and efficiency of the processes. It is important to understand cause and effect relationships and their potential unintended consequences. The analyses of facts and data result in greater objectivity and confidence in making decisions and then take actions based on evidence, balanced with experience and intuition. Making decisions based on objective evidence has the following benefits. Improved decision making. Improved processes. Improved effectiveness and efficiency. Better negotiation power. Effectiveness of past decisions. Principle number seven. Relationship management. It is important to identify and build relationships with the relevant interested parties that influence the performance of an organization to ensure continuous success of an organization. Not only shall we focus on our customers and suppliers, but also the relevant interested parties like the employees and the society that can have an affect or be affected by the organization. It's important to measure the performance and give feedback. Encourage and recognizing improvements and achievements by suppliers and partners. Establish and maintaining mutually beneficial relationships have the following benefits. Mutual success for all relevant parties. Share goals and values. Create wealth for all parties. Improved capabilities. And a well-managed supply chain. Now let us summarize the seven quality management principles can be applied by all organizations to become more successful and add value. From major corporations to government organizations, to all manufacturing, even tourism and especially if you're self-employed. The organization will ensure that they have the capability to meet the customer requirements before they accept the contract. The customer requirements will be included in the company objectives designed into the manufacturing processes and communicated to all employees. The employees would be empowered, competent and equipped with capable processes to achieve the customer's expectations. The effectiveness and efficiency of the process will be continuously monitored against the objectives and ongoing improvements initiated and promote mutual beneficial supplier relationships. You are welcome to visit our website at www.mpquality.com.